The overall goal of this procedure is to identify novel genes associated with the production of the exopolysaccharide alginate in Pseudomonas aeruginosa using mini-HIMAR1 transposon-mediated mutagenesis. This is accomplished by first growing two separate overnight cultures of the donor strain E. coli lambda pier carrying the PFAC plasmid and the recipient cells Pseudomonas aeruginosa PAO1. Next, the PFAC plasmid is conjugated by co-culturing E. coli lambda pier with Pseudomonas aeruginosa PAO1 and transconjugates are selected on Pseudomonas isolation agar. Then, mucoid colonies are identified and isolated on PIA plates. Finally, the location and orientation of the mini HEMAR1 transposon insertion site are identified within the Pseudomonas aeruginosa PAO1 genome. Ultimately, the use of mini HEMAR1 transposon mediated mutagenesis identifies and characterizes those genes associated with the production of alginate in Pseudomonas aeruginosa. This method can help answer key questions in the fields of microbiology and bacterial genetics, such as identifying genetic loci involved in the regulation of different cellular functions. Demonstrating the procedure will be run with us, a graduate student from my laboratory. The mini HEMAR1 Mariner transposon vector, PFAC, contains two 27 base pair inverted repeats with TA insertion sites flanking the AACC1 gentamicin resistance cassette, with its sigma 70 dependent promoter up.